Good morning, everyone. Today I am discussing about a test which is on aggregate. So the name of test which I discussed today is your hardness test of aggregate. So I start the test. So today. I discuss about hardness test of aggregate. Hardness test. of aggregate So here we determine uh, aggregate abrasion value. So uh, objective of this test is uh, basically this test cover the uh, two methods of determining the abrasion value of coarse aggregate. So basically uh, by determining the abrasion value of coarse aggregate, we determine the hardness of an aggregate. So the two method which will be given by our code for determining the aggregate abrasion value each double machine and next is our Los Angeles machine. So just you all see. So here our aim is to determine uh, determination of aggregate abrasion value. So by aggregate abrasion value we determine our aggregate hardness. So this test cover two methods of determining abrasion value by use of double machine and by the use of loss and less machine. So basically, so basically hardness test of aggregate will be used to find used to find it is used to find abrasion test of aggregate. It is also known as abrasion abrasion test of abrasion test of abrasion test of aggregate. So by uh, to find abrasion test of aggregate or to find hardness test of aggregate, we required two machines. So one is our Los Angeles, Los Angeles Los Angeles Abrasion testing machine, Los Angeles abrasion Java Los Angeles abrasion testing machine 
टेस्टिंग मशीन एंड नेक्स्ट इज आवर डबल एप्रेशन मशीन एंड नेक्स्ट इज आवर डबल टी ई वी ए एल डबल मशीन So basically, Los Angeles Abrasion Testing Machine is developed in USA. So uh, at a place uh, which is known as Los Angeles. So basically, for that particular place name, this testing machine is known as Los Angeles Abrasion Testing Machine. And next is our double machine. Basically, this is the name of researcher who gave this machine. So double machine. So we perform two tests on double machine. One is double abrasion. Double abrasion. Double abrasion. Double abrasion. And next stage, double abrasion. Double abrasion machine. Double abrasion machine. And next is our double attrition machine. Double attrition. Well, at recent missing. They were at recent. So if you all see here, we have two machine for calculating hardness test of aggregate and also to calculate abrasion test of aggregate one is the los angeles abrasion here we see abrasion what basically abrasion testing machine here we have double machine so double machine have two parts or two kinds one is double abrasion machine and next is double attrition machine so basically we have two different work one is abrasion and one is attrition so these two word have own significance attrition and abrasion both are two different words so here if you see so here if you see we have much more differences between abrasion and attrition so if uh, here in this machine we perform the abrasion test of aggregate or hardness test of aggregate by putting putting aggregate by putting our aggregate in a cylindrical mold so basically this is a kind of cylindrical mold which is fitted in this machine so this is a kind of cylindrical mold so in this cylindrical mold to put our aggregates so basically this is our aggregates so we just wait and this is our aggregate so this is our aggregates these are all our aggregates so in this machine we put our aggregates So these are our aggregates which will be placed in this machine. So these are our aggregates. Here in this part also aggregate is available. Here in this part also aggregate is available. Here in this part also aggregate is available. 
we are in this part aggregate is also available aggregate is also available aggregate is also available here also in this part aggregate is available so if there is a rubbing between aggregates and aggregate so if here if you carefully see here these aggregates this aggregate this aggregate this aggregate rubbed with this aggregate this aggregate so this is known as our abrasion so basically it is a kind of ab attrition so in attrition only aggregate and aggregate will rubbed with each other and only the cylindrical mold in cylindrical mold also a steel ball is present so only there is a rubbing between a steel ball and only a steel ball so this is a kind of attrition sure it is a kind of attrition now if in between these aggregates if in these if in between these aggregates if i place or if we put some of if we put if we put the steel balls i mark a steel balls in black mark so if we put a steel ball here generally 8 6 8 or 12 steel ball will be put in this machine so here we put our steel balls so if there is a rubbing between or wear and tear between a steel ball and aggregate is happen then it is known as abrasion so basically abrasion occurs between two different objects and attrition is occurs between two same object object may be aggregate or aggregate or the object may be steel ball and steel ball so just see here we have two words one is abrasion one is abrasion one is abrasion one is abrasion and next one is attrition and next one is attrition So next one is our attrition. So abrasion is wear and tear between. Here I write wear and tear between same. Wear and tear. Wear and tear. And tear. Between. between two different particles two different particles not particles two different material two different material different materials here it is defined as we are and tear between two between two same material example example aggregate and aggregate aggregate and aggregate aggregate and aggregate here example is our is our um, aggregate and 
aggregate and and steel ball and steel ball. so basically this is the difference between abrasion and attrition so you must have to know what is the difference between abrasion and attrition after knowing these two words uh, technically then you move toward your, your test which is your uh, abrasion testing machine so basically in hardness test or in abrasion test we have two option one is for abrasion and another is for attrition so basically we perform our abrasion testing machine so just see let's see here just if you see this is your los angeles abrasion uh, value of aggregate here we find los angeles abrasion value of aggregate so our objective is abrasion testing uh, here our objective or our aim is to perform abrasion testing of aggregate and find out the abrasion value of our aggregate so abrasion test is carried out to test the hardness property of aggregate i already discussed these things uh, to find hardness test of aggregate we perform our abrasion testing the principle of Los Angeles abrasion test is to find the percentage we are due to relating rubbing between the aggregate and steel ball. So basically, if you here you see here we use aggregate and steel ball because this is our abrasion testing. Here, what is given abrasion? So in abrasion, two different materials you choose. One is aggregate and another is a steel ball. So used as a uh, abrasive charge. So basically, a steel ball process, a steel ball process abrasive charge. So apparatus required so here if, if in figure you see figure one we, we required balance uh, balance should be accurate up to one gram so so uh, we use generally balance of much accuracy because if uh, if uh, accurate balance is not used then it is the chances of um, occurring of error in our testing so if error occurs in our test then it will start accumulating and then our result will uh, will come out to be false and it causes our deterioration of uh, uh, our pavement because we use uh, hardness uh, not uh, uh, inadequate manner for our aggregate because we uh, result or we find our uh, abrasion value of aggregate wrong so we use balance and balance should be accurate up to one gram this sieve so basically this, these are the different types of sieve which will be used in this testing. So sieve requires are 80 mm, 63 mm, 50 mm, 40 mm, 25 mm, 20 mm, 12.5 mm, 10 mm, 6.3 mm, 4.7 mm as per gradation of aggregate and lastly we use 1.7 mm. So basically the sieve used in this test is 80 mm, 63 mm, 50 mm, 40 mm, 25 mm. 20 mm, 12.5 mm, 10 mm, 6.3 mm, 4.7 mm. So basically, these all the sieves, these all the sieves are arranged in an descending order. So just you, if you see here, we arrange all the sieves here. We arrange all the sieves in our in our descending order so here we use 80 mm sieve here we use our 63 mm sieve here we use our 50 mm sieve here we use our 40 mm sieve here we use our 25 mm sieve here we use our 20 mm sieve here we use our 12 mm 12.5 mm sieve and so on so on top we use our maximum size of sieve here we use 63 then gradually it go on decreasing so here we use 50 here we use 40 here we use 25 and so on so last last sieve which will be used is 4.75 mm basically this sieve is at bottom so 4.75 mm and also we kept 1.7 mm sieve with us because the, from this ship we pass the aggregate after get abrasion from
from our Los Angeles machine. So after uh, abrasion, we pass our aggregate through this sieve. So 1.7 1.7 mm sieve is also used in our testing, and this sieve is test in and will be used in last. Next is our Los Angeles testing machine. So this is our Los Angeles testing machine. You all see this is our Los Angeles testing machine. So its inside length is equal to 50 mm and inside diameter is equal to 70 mm. So these are the specification of our Los Angeles testing machine. So here you see there is a look like a drum. So basically in this drum we put all the aggregates. So and in this drum already a steel ball is kept. So abrasive charge diameter is equal to 40, 48 mm and weight is equal to 390 to 445 gram. So basically abrasive charge will be given by our steel ball. So if you carefully see here, if you carefully see here, these are our rounded steel balls. So these are steel balls. So these steel balls are rounded. Its dia diameter is equal to 48 mm and weight is equal to 390 plus 455 gram. So basically in between 390 to 445 gram, its uh, weight will be varied. Next. Next reference. So basically, it is uh, referred from our IS Indian Standard Code 2386 Part 4, 1963. So method of testing for aggregate for concrete mechanical property reframed in December 2016. So procedure. First is gradation of aggregate. So gradation of the aggregate should be carried out so as to assess the grade of aggregate from A to G. So here, if you observe, this is a table of uh, here we mention our sieve size. Here we mention weight in gram of test sample for grade. So here A to G grade, A, B, C, D, E, F, G grade is given. So here sieve size passing 80 mm, retaining 63 mm because this sieve is kept below 80 mm sieve. Here passing 63, retaining 50. Here passing 50, retaining 40. Here passing 40, retaining 25. Here passing 25, retaining 20. Here passing 20, retaining 12.5. Next 12.5 passing, 10 retaining. Then 10 passing, then uh, uh, 6.3 retaining. Then 6.3 passing, 4.75 retaining. Then 4.75 passing, then 2.36 retaining. So here the bit written on this uh, pass through uh, ATM sphere retain on 63 mm is here 2500 gram here also 2500 gram which passing from 63 retaining over 40 here also we have uh, another uh, grading of aggregate which will be in ef e and f then so on so we get our grading of aggregate in our tabular form next what we do next Procedure for Los Angeles abrasion testing machine. So the test sample cell consists of basically I clear all right. So procedure for Los Angeles abrasion testing. The test sample cell consists of clean aggregate. So basically, if you see, so so. Uh, so basically, we find uh, abrasion, uh, aggregate abrasion value. So this test covered the two method of determining the abrasion value of coarse aggregate. One is by the use of table machine and another is by the use of Los Angeles machine. So uh, apparatus uh, cell consists of following for our, uh, I already discussed for our uh, Los Angeles abrasion machine. So first is our, uh, Los Angeles machine. Next is our sieve. So sieve I already discussed. Next is our um, after sieve we use uh, abrasive charge which will be given by our steel balls. So so basically uh, the Los Angeles machine, the Los Angeles abrasion testing machine, confirming in all its essential characteristic to the design. The machine cell consists of a, uh, I already said, the machine cell consists of a hollow steel cylinder closed at both ends, having an inside diameter of 
70 centimeter and the inside length of 50 mm. So the cylinder shall be mounted on a stub shaft attached to the end of the cylinders but not entering it and shall be mounted in such a manner that it may be rotated about its axis in a horizontal position. So an opening in the cylinder shall be provided for the introduction of the test sample or for the insertion of our test sample. Next, the opening shall be closed dust tight with a removable cover belt in place. So the cover shall be so designed as to maintain the cylindrical contour of the interior surface unless the cell is so located uh, that the charge will not fall on the cover or come in contact with it during the test. So a removal steel self uh, projecting radially 88 mm into the cylinder and extending its full length shall be mounted along one element of the interior surface of the cylinder. So the self shall be of such thickness and uh, so mounted by bolts or other approved means as to be firm and rigid. So the position of the self shall, shall be such that the distance from the self to the opening measured around the circumference of the cylinder and the direction of rotation shall be not less than uh, 125 centimeter. So these are all about our Los Angeles submission machine. So in machine we have direction of rotation, we have also gasket, we have uh, filler plate. So basically, if you see in the figure, just wait. So here we have uh, direction of rotation of our drum. Here we have gasket, we have filler plate of same thickness of gasket, the cover plate of uh, 214 to 8 mm is also given, angle cell self is also given here a steel wall of thickness one uh, of 12 mm pillar plate thickness 12 mm plus thickness of gasket cover plate these all are uh, alternate design of angle shaft and preferred design of plate shaft and cover is also given so this this uh, this uh, los angeles testing machine is fitted on our concrete pier so this is the dimension or uh, here all uh, i saw all the dimension of our los angeles testing machine so next i discuss all these things so uh, how we perform or and what are the procedures so first so first i think i discuss so first each so first is the test sample the test sample and the aggressive charge shall be placed in the Los Angeles testing machine. So the test sample is our aggregate and the aggressive charge each given by our steel balls shall be placed in the Los Angeles abrasion testing machine. So we just take the steel ball and we take our aggregate and place it in our Los Angeles abrasion testing machine. And the machine rotated at a speed of 20 to 33 revolution per mm. So the rotation allowed or given to the machine each 20 to 33 revolution per minute for grading A, B, C, D, E. For grading A, B, C, and D, the machine shall be rotated for 500 revolution. For grading E, R, E, F, and G, it shall be rotated for 1000 revolution. Because A, B, C, and D grade aggregates are not much hard so we give less revolution so particularly for grading a b c and d we give the 500 revolution for our aggregate and for grading e f and g for e f and g we rotate our uh, our loss in the lesson testing machine for 100 or oh, for sorry for 1000 revolution because this machine each um, this aggregate is strong so we give number of revolution more so the machine shall be so driven and, and so counterbalance as to maintain a substantially uniform peripheral speed so if an angle is used at the self 
the machine shall be rotated in such a direction that the charge is caught on the outside surface of the angle. At the completion of the test, the material shall be discharged from the machine and a preliminary separation of the sample made on a sheet course than 1.70 mm ISC. The final portion shall then be shipped on a 1.70 mm ISC in the uh, in the sheet for our aggregate. So the material coarser than 1.70 mm ISC shall be was dried in an oven at 105 to 110 degrees Celsius to a substantially constant weight and accurately weight to the nearest ground. So, uh, so this, uh, this is weight. So, so here, what we do? Uh, the stress sample shall consist of clean aggregate which has been dried in an oven at 105 to 110 degrees Celsius to substantially constant weight and shall uh, confirm to one of the prediction shown in table 1. I already showed you uh, in table 1 that how the gradation of this is the table 1. So basically in this table I show you all how the gradation of our aggregate is done. So these are the gradation of our aggregate. So the gradation uh, or credits used uh, shall be those must merely representing the aggregate uh, furnished for the work. So the test sample and vibration charge shall be placed in the Los Angeles vibration testing machine, and the machine uh, and the machine rotated at a speed of 20 to 33 revolution per minute. But in certain books, it is also written. 30 to 33 rpm which is wrong because as per your is code so in is code it is clearly mentioned is 2386 part 4 1963 it is clearly mentioned that the revolution given uh, to your machine or uh, the we give uh, rotation for our machine is 20 to 33 revolution per minute and for grading a b c and d the machine shall be rotated for 500 revolution. So if uh, if we give 500 revolution, then in one minute, if we give 20 revolution, then uh, for 500 revolution, we rotate our machine for about 25 minutes for A, B, C, and D grade of aggregate. Next, for grading E, F, and G, it shall be rotated for 1000 revolution, which will be mention which will be mentioned in table 2 so you all see this table 2 so here you all see this is our table 2 so here number of sphere or number of sphere we use each is 12 here number of sphere we use each 11 so in between 6 to 12 we use uh, number of our uh, steel balls so here number of sphere means number of steel ball which will be give its abrasive charge. So, bit of charge in gram is 5000 plus minus 25, and also all the bit of charge is given. So, number of charges for the creating of aggregate is also given. Next, the machine shall be so driven and so counterbalanced as to maintain a substantially uniform peripheral speed if an angle is used at the cell. The machine shall be rotated in such a direction that the charge is caught on outside surface of the angle. So at the completion of the test, the material shall be discharged from the machine and a preliminary separation of test made on a ship coarser than 1.70 mm ISC. The material coarser than the 1.70 mm ship shall be washed dry in an oven at 105 to 110 degrees celsius to a substantially constant weight and accurately weight to the nearest ground so calculation the difference between the original weight and the final weight of test sample is expressed as a percentage of original weight of test sample this value is reported as the percentage of wear so where a is weight in gram of open dry sample B is the weight in gram of fraction written on 
1.70 mm isc after wash and oven dry up to constant weight so if you see so here if you see how will find how will we find aggregate aggregate ablation value so aggregate aggregate ablation value so aggregate aberration aggregate aberration value so how we find aggregate aberration value aggregate abrasion value is indicated as a a v a v is equal to w1 w2 sorry it is w2 divided by w1 here w2 here w2 is equal to weight of of aggregate and weight of aggregate passing passing through one point ml m c and w1 is equal to weight of w1 is equal to weight of original sample weight of original sample which will be taken which will be which will be taken which will be taken on sieve which will be taken on sieve so basically from this formula uh, uh, w2 by w1 formula we find our aggregate ablation value so this is the aggregate ablation value so here uh, w2 and w1 I also uh, elaborate what is W1 and what is W2. So our code says, what our code 2386 part 4 says, this aggregate, this aggregate abrasion value should not be more than 30%. Not be more than 30%. This will not be more than 30%. And also this aggregate this aggregate abrasion value should not be more than 45 percent this is for this is for sub base and this is for our base course this is for base course base course so this is all about your aberration testing of aggregate by los angeles aberration testing machine so keep this thing in mind that during los angeles aberration testing machine what we do and what are the things we perform so basically abrasion is a measure of resistance to 
fear or hardness it is essentially property for goat aggregate especially when used in rearing course so due to the moment of traffic the road stone used in the surface course are subjected to bearing actions at the top portion so when traffic moves on the road the soil particles which comes between the wheels and road surface causes abrasion on the road stone or on the aggregate so uh, i discuss uh, all the things in detail about your los angeles abrasion testing machine and also say for subbase course a value of 30% will be limited by our code and for uh, base course the value of 40% will be limited by our uh, will be limited by our irc so these things you keep in mind so next session i am discussing about Table attrition testing machine. So next session, I am discussing all the things, rest all the things about your double attrition machine. So thank you everyone.